Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Essence of Shay. Lego. I struggled about talking about this situation for a very long time. Um, I feel like it's kind of embarrassing. But then, this, this is why I didn't talk about it, but then I realized um, I'm probably not the only person who actually is going through this type of situation. So it will be nice to share it. And that's what YouTube is about, right? Isn't it to share not only the good things, the not so good things, but the things that are a struggle that you might need to work a little bit harder than the rest to, um, to deal with. So I decided that I'm going to talk about it and um, let's see what comes out of this video. Uh, before we get anything started, if you haven't already, don't forget to click that subscribe button, like, comment below, get the conversation started and share my videos. Um, so <clears throat> as the title says, um, and it wasn't a clickbait. Uh, I went to my OBGYN last year just for my a my annual checkup and we spoke about um, some things that I had been going through and um, what I was diagnosed with was endometriosis. Endometriosis. I'll put it right here and what it is is when there's an extra lining over your uterus and what this causes is really bad severe menstrual pains which I've had since I was like 12 years old it can cause um, uh, irregularities in your menstrual it can also cause pain while you're having sexual intercourse <coughs> we're all adults so we can speak about this sexual intercourse and the biggest thing is that it help it helps in aiding a hard time with you conceiving or having a child. Yeah, so um I was happy in a sense because I am now understanding why I have such bad menstrual pains. But then it kind of bummed me out because I've always wanted a kid. Like I'm always good. I'm good with people's kids. I'm excellent with their, you know what I mean? So I immediately felt a sense of disappointment. And I asked her like, what are ways to like, it, can this be fixed and da da da. She said, um, you can have surgery, which will remove that outer layer. But that all that won't always work. Sorry, I didn't think I would get emotional. Sorry, guys. I'm not gonna do it. Uh, so I just basically um, I asked, were there any other um? Sorry. I didn't think that I would get emotional. I'm so sorry, guys. I'm using my beauty blender to wipe away whatever. Okay. Okay, I'm, I'm good. So I asked, were there any other um, alternative ways to fix this, like to help in like relieving that? Um, so I can essentially, when I want to conceive and have, and I am in a mental space with myself and you know everything, all the elements that I'll be able to have a kid and. I was basically told like you can either do the surgery which will always work or you can change your lifestyle. Now this was recent that I was told about changing my lifestyle. Lifestyle meaning the things that I eat, 
stress has a lot to do I'm so sorry guys I'm so sorry I'm sorry. I honestly didn't didn't think that I would react in this way. So I'm so sorry. Oh God. The purpose of this is not for people to feel sorry. It's to like just educate, you know. So I didn't think that I would um, react this way. But let's try to get through this. Um, so just recently i found out that um uh you're switching up your diet basically can help uh with, uh kind of it's basically an inflammation type situation so your your skin and your uterus and your body is inflammated so you need to counteract that so meaning uh no low carbs or less dairy in your diet uh red meat causes a lot of inflammation in the body so um i've decided that uh this is something that is serious uh to me and since last year i felt like several punches because it's like dude first is your kidney maybe you have a kidney problem then is now this but before and then why i started crying with the whole stress thing is because i like i said i've been in multiple situations relationship wise job personal family everything that caused so much stress into my life and I am hearing that that could be a cause of it and it's just it's just a lot so I am here to say that if anybody is going through anything like this like don't let it define you uh there are other ways that you can have a child and you can possibly have a child on your own as well. You just either need to switch up your diet uh, regimen, live a more peaceful, happier life. I'm going to start doing yoga because um, I heard that yoga is good for zenning out and all that stuff. Um, and also, if you could afford it or... If your insurance allows it, uh, do the surgery because um, that can possibly help as well. Um, I found out that uh, Tia Mori from Sister Sister actually has endometriosis. And she said she had her surgery two times and they still didn't work. And once she like changed her diet, like she went completely vegan. I don't know about that one, but <laughs> she went completely vegan and in like a year or however long, I don't want to mess up her story, she actually had her son, she was able to con have her son and be pregnant with her son who is now like five years old or whatnot. So it, it, there is a silver lining. So I'm not here to just say, oh, all is and I'm never going to have, like, that's not in the cards for me. God has always said and proven to me that he wants things for me but I am one of a whole bunch who actually has to work hard for it and it's not just given 
like you know what i mean so that's a good thing because when it does happen i know that i worked and i did the best that i was supposed to do to make this happen as far as as, as say it same with my youtube channel a lot of people just shoot off and be successful in like six months or a lot of people just started and they already have like twenty thousand or however many uh, subscribers and me i'm just still a small youtuber and even though i've been here for a long time I am the rab that not the rabbit, the tortoise in the game of life. A lot of times I feel knocked down because of that, but there's God has a purpose for me, He has a plan for me, and when He's ready for certain things to happen in my life, He is going to let it happen. I just have to continue being me, talking to you, spreading love and peace and everything and when it's my time will be my time so um with all of that being said uh i'm okay i have my days where i'm just like really down and out especially when i see my friends and family getting pregnant and having babies and stuff i do feel some sort of way i'm human but um i'm starting to work out uh more now and i'm starting to eat more healthier i just started this is my second day just doing uh when this comes out i don't know what day that will be but when i'm recording it this is my second day on my one gallon of water a day uh cleanse just to flush out any craziness and i also i'm going to stop my best i'm going to stop eating red meat for a while because if that is causing inflammatory factors in my system it has to go you know you know what i mean so then slowly i'm gonna start cutting out other things and just helping out my system and my body so it can do what it needs to do without any complications you get what i'm saying anyways i love you guys so much for watching i love 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 how supportive you guys are with me how right or die you guys are with me the ones that have been are subscribed to me i thank you guys so much because you really don't have to subscribe to my channel i'm getting emotional again but you do and because of you guys is why I can <clears throat> I continue to record videos because I go through some things but recording for you guys I'm putting out content and basically being able to talk to you guys even though it's not like it kind of is we kind of are having a conversation because you guys comment down below so I want I just I just want to thank you guys so much for the love and support but anyways see you guys later tiger lilies if you have any more questions about in endometriosis i will leave a link down below i will also leave a link down of tia tamara's story and i think i'm gonna like start tracking my fitness and my food uh uh transitions and whatnot because I am going through a life change and uh, I want to document it, not just say what's going on with me and then that, that's it. So stay on the lookout for that. A lot of gym videos, a lot of cooking videos, just everything to uh, fix and pr repair my body um, without having to go the surgery lane. And we'll see how that happens and if i have to go to surgery lane you guys will be on that journey with me as well anyways see you later tiger lilies toodles